I saw all of the Cultural Revolution. Because when it happened in 66, I was two years old. But you know, you, you, I saw red guards climbing from balcony into my home, and I was home with my nanny and my brother, and the red guard, probably only six, 16, 17 year old, uh, high school student, okay, with the hat and banner, and knock on the French door, and we open, and he said, uh, where's, where's uh, my father? And they said, well, he's out of town. He said, I want his diary. Give me all his diary. So we had to, just, my nanny just took out and just took it. Just just like that. Hmm. And, you, and, and you didn't think it was something like human rights or something. It was, that's, that was the way of life. Uh, both of uh, my parents were classmates from 1951 to 57 at the Shanghai Conservatory. And both their uh, violin teachers um, got killed. You know, uh, my mother's teacher, I think, turned on the gas chamber and get gas one night. And he and his wife just commit suicide. And my father's teacher was, they claim he jumped out of a window, but he was badly beaten. Probably he was pushed out. We'll never find out. Hmm. And yeah, in the in Chinese Conservatory, I think in 1966 to 68, maybe more than 10 professors killed themselves. It's unbelievable. Yeah. All, all of the transcriptions was composed or recomposed or arranged by our quartet second violinist, Mr. Ewan Zhang. And then about maybe six, seven years ago, uh, we already have a pretty fast re standard repertoire in our hands, and we were had the kind of luxury or the time to look into not so standard repertoire. And he uh, also felt all those music we grew up with, and, and after we left China, sort of you want to get away from it because you heard it so much, and it's, it's a lot of. Uh, revolutionary, you know, very Chairman Mao, this <laughs> communist party. High energy. That. High energy, and yeah, you're so tired of it after heard it for 20 some years. But you know, people are strange. You know, people always go back to the roots. And whatever it's environment you, you grew up, you have uh, part of you want to go back and revisit. It's interesting, actually, one, once uh, when the CD was released five years ago, one of the major music uh, magazine had a huge article, and this uh, reviewer was saying, the more he listens to it, the more troublesome he felt with the China song, because he said, how can such a devastating period in China, how can people have like beautiful music? It should be just bitter, angry music. And I was reading it, and I, I think I just, burst out laughing. It's like, that's the whole point. <laughs> you know, you, you, people actually really need some pretty music to, to get away from all this nonsense.